Hello future millionaires and welcome back to my channel. I am Kayla K. Keen and in this video I'm talking about the best mortgage rates in Jamaica. Now I'm always telling you about the process of acquiring a home but I have recognized that many persons do not know which financial institution is best to approach as it relates to getting a mortgage. So that is what I'll be talking about in this video. I've also noticed that I have a lot of new subscribers so welcome to the family and as of now you are a future millionaire so if you are interested in learning more about the best financial institutions for a mortgage here in Jamaica like the video share it with a friend and keep watching future millionaires and thank you so much for staying I hope you remember to like the video and share it with a friend so as I was saying before most of us know the basic process because I've already outlined all of them how to buy a house in Jamaica in this video that I have linked here however as it relates to getting your mortgage it is advised that you shop around so that you can get the best interest rate remember some mortgages last up to 40 years so this is a major 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 investment so you want to ensure that you are choosing the right financial institution to assist you in your home ownership process so firstly if you are Jamaican or you have Jamaican parents, you know that you can access a part of your mortgage as a loan from the National Housing Trust or NHT for short. The NHT is a government entity that helps Jamaicans to own their own home by offering a part of their mortgage as a loan that is at a lower percentage than that which you will get from your commercial bank. It's usually anywhere between 4 and 5% thereabout. So to access your NHT part of your mortgage, you firstly need to have an eligibility letter. That letter will tell you how much money you can get from the NHT. And that of course is determined by your salary and um, how much you're earning and so on. So to access your NHT eligibility letter, you need to approach NHT with three your three last pay slips your trn and your nis they will use that information to calculate how much money they are willing to lend you as a loan towards your mortgage amount remember that if you are buying an nht property in an nht scheme or an nht development they do 100 per percent financing for those properties however if you're buying on the open market then they'll just give you your allotted amount plus your crtd amount which is your contribution refund amount that would have been payable to you but maybe the year for that payment has not yet come so now that we've gotten the nht bit out of the way let's talk about the institutions here in jamaica that are providing the best interest rates on mortgages firstly we're going to start with those with the highest interest rate and work our way down to those with the lowest interest rate so that you can make a more informed decision when you decide to look about your mortgage remember this video does not serve as advice or I'm not promoting or telling you which bank to choose. I'm just sharing information with you as it relates to their interest rate. Remember also that interest rates on mortgages or any other loan change from time to time as banks and financial institutions will have promotions and so on. So do your market research. But this information that I'm giving you now is current. Starting at the highest interest rate, we have Bank of Nova Scotia or Scotia Bank for short, they have an interest rate of a shocking 9.25% on mortgages. So if you choose to take your mortgage loan from Bank of Nova Scotia, that is the interest rate that you are going to be paying. 
Coming in closely behind Scotia Bank is Victoria Mutual Building Society with an interest rate on mortgages of 8.5%. Oh, one reminder before I forget, future millionaires, always remember that all loans as it relates to their interest rate are actually negotiable. So if you've been a part of a bank for years, you can go to them and say, my credit score is this. So although you're offering 8.5% say in the case of VMBS or 9.25% in the case of Scotia Bank, then you can say to them, I have been a good customer. I have other loans with you. I have always repaid on time and in full if I have credit cards and so on. And I want a reduction on my mortgage. Remember, loans are just like somebody who is selling slippers so if you go to them and they are selling the slippers for 1000 jamaican dollars and you say to them i can only afford 950 dollars they can negotiate and give you the slippers for that amount so the banks can do the same thing so don't be afraid to go to them with a proposal and ask for a reduction right behind victoria mutual building society with an interest rate of 7.95% is Sajikor Bank. So I want to remind you also or inform you that your interest rate generally can differ based on a few factors. One of the main factors is your credit score. Another factor is your age. So remember that mortgages are normally uh, paid until about age 60. So you can minus your age from 60 to find out how many years you have left to pay your mortgage if you should start a mortgage now to find out how many years you have left. So when you do that, it will help you to understand if you will have a higher or lower mortgage. Generally, that's why it is advised that persons buy a house when they are younger. You have way more time to repay, hence your mortgage is normally much cheaper. So trailing behind Sajikor Bank are First Global Bank and National Commercial Bank for a tie at 6.95%. That is their starting rate. Remember additionally, and I'm glad that I said starting rate, when I say this percentage, it's only a starting rate. So it can go up depending on the factors that I have highlighted to you earlier right so these are your options so far but i have one more option and a very 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 important point that most of you are not aware of some insider information that i'm going to share so keep watching so trailing behind sajikor bank are first global bank and national commercial bank for a tie at 6.95 percent that is their starting rate remember additionally and i'm glad that i said starting rate when i say this percentage it's only a starting rate so it can go up depending on the factors that i have highlighted to you earlier right so these are your options so far but i have one more option and a very 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 important point that most of you are not aware of some insider information that i'm going to share so keep watching so finally with the best interest rate on mortgages we have the jamaica money market brokers otherwise known as jmb they are offering an interest rate of 6.9 percent this is the lowest i've found so far so you can let me know if you know a bank here in jamaica that is offering a lower interest rate I am actually surprised that JMB is offering this rate as you would have known if you're keeping abreast with your business news that they recently became a commercial bank. So, so far, based on what I have found, they have the lowest interest rate. So if you want to check out the other banks, most banks have an online mortgage calculator where you can plug in your earnings, your age, and they can tell you what your mortgage rate would be. 
So for staying to the end though, future millionaires, I have a little bonus tip for you. After you have accessed your NHT portion of your mortgage and your portion from the bank, if you still need additional help, you can approach the Jamaica Mortgage Bank. The Jamaica Mortgage Bank was actually developed to help persons who could not afford the full amount of their mortgage. So if you are currently at say 90% and you need 10%, then you can approach them and they will assist you in your goal of home ownership. If you have watched to the end, comment hashtag future millionaire and let the others who clicked off early wonder what we are rambling about. Until next week, future millionaires, stay financially literate. Bye-bye.